In this video, we will look at Cloud Express, also known as Cloud on RAM for SaaS. With Cloud on RAM for SaaS, the SD WAN fabric continuously measures the performance of SaaS applications through all available paths from a branch. These paths could be direct internet paths or through a regional site connected to the internet. For each path, a quality of experience score ranging from 0 to 10 is calculated. Higher the score, the better is the path. This course gives network administrators the visibility into application performance. The most important thing is that the fabric automatically chooses the best path for that SaaS application. All scores are calculated independently for each SaaS application. So it's quite possible that path to one app may be through a certain transport, while for the other it may be through a different transport. So let's begin. This is our topology. Here we have VH2 acting as a regional site which has access to the internet. Other sites that is VH1 and VH3 can use this site as a gateway for accessing internet applications. VH1 also has a local internet breakout and can access the SaaS applications directly through that link. Cloud Express is disabled by default, so we'll need to enable it first. So let's go to settings. And enable Cloud Express. Also remember to enable Cloud Express for the sites. The site VHS should be controlled by vManage, which means they should have a template attached to them. And here you can see that the VH1 and VH2 have a template attached to it. So to begin configuring Cloud Express, we can just click on the cloud icon, the vManage dashboard. This gives uh, the steps that we need to take to enable Cloud Express. So we need to add applications and then we need to add define the gateway sites and the sites with local internet access. So let's go ahead and define our applications. Let's add Office 365. Let's also add Box. And let's also add Google applications for now. All these things will be done for VPN 11. Let's click Add and Save. Next, we'll go ahead and add our gateway sites. Gateway sites are sites with have internet access, and other sites can actually use this site as a gateway for internet access. Let's go ahead and attach our gateway. In our topology, VH2 is the gateway site. Let's attach. By default, Cloud Express will choose all the interfaces with NAT configured under them. Uh, if you have any GR interface, you can actually go and edit those interfaces. So the configuration is done. And there we can see all the other three applications. Let's go ahead and add our DIA site as well. So in our topology, it is VH1. Again, click attach. configuration is pushed so now you can see we have three SaaS applications being monitored from two devices it takes a little bit of time to evaluate the VOE QOE score uh, so we'll just wait till it reflects after a few minutes the QOE score gets updated which is being indicated as good and as shown as green let's check on the application office 365 as you can see it has calculated the VQOE score and it also shows the interface it's using to access the applications. For both the VHS, it is actually showing as GE0 slash 0, which is the locally connected internet link. Let's check for Google Apps. And again, we see that it has selected the locally internet circuit. And for Box, it has again selected GE0 slash 0, which is the local internet link. Now, I will introduce some delay and loss on the local internet circuit connected to VH1. And we'll check how Cloud Express handles this link impairment. After I introduce some impairment on the links, you can see that the VQOE scores have changed. It typically takes a few minutes to detect and change the path. 
So let's check on Office 365. And here you can see that the VQS codes have changed. The DI status now shows as gateway. It also shows the activated gateway and the color that is being used to go to that gateway and access the internet. Similarly, let's check on Google Apps. And here also the DI status have changed to gateway. That means the VH1 is actually using VH2 as the gateway to access internet. If you look at box, the, though the VQS codes have changed here, it's still using the local interface because it still feels that the SaaS application is better accessible through the local internet circuit. Thus, you can see how Cloud Express helps to ensure that your SaaS applications are always running on the best available path. That's it for this demo, and thanks for watching.